You've reached Matthew Shuckman. Sorry, I'm not available to take your call. I'm here in beautiful Oxford, England, where we've just kind of looked at a lot of these sets and real life uh, situations where Tolkien had lived his life and grew up and kind of got a lot of the inspiration for his writings. So uh, enjoy what you have to see, because I loved it all as well. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Now, obviously, Edith and everybody in the film, of course, are based on real people. It really feels that this is basically just a film about what two people who care about each other are making capable for each other. Mm. Is that kind of how you built your performance from this? Yeah, there's very limited information on Edith, and especially, like, there's a couple photos that I saw, but really little to go off of, other than the fact that I knew she encouraged him to tell the stories that we all know now and love so much. And so if, if I reintroduced myself properly to the stories that were then formulated because of his relationship with her and his friends, I could then try to work backwards and distill it into a real grounded human being. And that helped me create her because otherwise I really didn't have much to go on. I also did research on what it would have been like to be a woman of that period and that mm. social standing with those prospects. And that was also helpful. But um, yeah, there was kind of an amalgamation of creation there for her. I mean, obviously they did have feelings for each other, but in a way, as a viewer, I'm almost, you know, I feel like she was trapped, he was the first person she met, and I'm wondering how much that may have played into how they kind of connected. I definitely think, you know, they were both orphans, they were living in the same house, she had never met someone like him, but she also was someone who loves, she's a very creative person, but again, with her situation, she wasn't really capable of doing more than she did. Um, but in him, she saw a form of escape and someone that she just felt connected to right away. And you see her in one scene connecting with the other guys, but in a different way. I mean, I think they really did have love at first sight, I believe. And because it was a slow burning relationship mm. um, and there was a period when they never saw each other and then they came right back together and it was as if they'd never left. I mean, it was, it was palpable, it was, it was infectious. There was no denying that that was always there. And so I think it played into it that they had a similar situation, but at the same time, they both encouraged one another of things that maybe they didn't even know they needed encouraging of. You, you just spoke about uh, a few seconds ago the idea of studying the time periods and so on and so forth. And I'm wondering when it comes down to it, when you finally get those costumes on though too, does that now also bring in a new layer that you didn't even think yeah, about? very much. I mean, especially with playing a woman wearing a corset and wearing multiple layers of clothing underneath. And um, the overall aesthetic of the period was, I find so beautiful, I love period dramas. Mm. And the hair and makeup, everything about it helps lend itself to creating a new character. And every movie that I do, I very much rely on meeting with the hair and makeup and the costume department because that helps in our daily life. We wear certain things because we want to feel a certain way. What's to say that's not different? You're just playing another human being. So it very much helps. And so you, you said, you, I almost was afraid of saying period piece. Oh. Because when I think period piece, I th you know, you just automatically you think, think Victorian or, era. Yeah. But the fact is that we're moving so long so that it, it's almost, you know, yeah. even well, 1950 Well, the 1990s this, yeah. are a period piece and as our, you know, it's, yeah. it's like the connotation can go so many different ways. Um, but I think uh, a, a period piece is just something of a of a very specific time, right? And so this was in, a, in its own right a very specific time. Yeah, and it very much is, and it makes sense. But yeah, like, but it is, it's is... funny. You think of like Game of Thrones, or you think of something, you know, or you think of something stuffy. This is Matthew Shuckman from Den of Geek. Stay tuned to the website for all of our interviews from the Fox Searchlight picture Tolkien about the life and times of J.R.R. Tolkien, and of course, make sure to check out our Daily Motion site at dailymotion slash denofgeek. Thank you.